a, a thousand watts. I see. Okay. Uh, a thousand watts or one kilowatt for each generator. Oh, really? Yeah, so you'll be selling power then. Well, we'll that's, see. That's the plan. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I had a lot of farm equipment. I've been I sold most all of it. Yeah. Because I was uh, farming also, raising the hay and the grain for the gulch, and I wanted to get into into uh, raising hay that's organic, but uh, I just didn't have time to do it. And then when the, everything started falling apart, and I didn't have any outlet for the milk and decided, well, maybe we can make cheese, but that didn't sell very well. People don't think that goat cheese is very good yeah. because they got it in their mind that, ew, goats. <laughs> yeah. And you're going, it's the best cheese in the world. Yeah. Well, people get ideas, you know, and that's where it stops. Yeah. And this is the, uh, this is the board that'll be mounted, uh, and mounted inside that box, and it'll be actually set up like this. I see. So yeah. it'll be facing inside. Yeah. And this is the Windy Boy. This is the grid tie system. This is a twenty-two hundred dollar unit right here. That's the most expensive out of the whole unit. And so I, I have to make certain that everything's going to be safe on it before I turn it on. Um, there's uh, this is also an expensive piece here. This is also built from SMA. Uh, company which made this and it's a, a combination DC uh, shut off switch plus um, DC um, fuses in here and you can see there's four of them in a row this is made for actually a PV panel panels that come in here and it'll but uh, it'll also work with the uh, windmills um, and you can see how how the fuses are mounted in here this is a 10 amp fuse. It'll handle up to up to 600 volts. This unit right here is averaging around $400, and uh, I got on a uh, web page uh, where the, they was the cheapest ones, and I got it for $320. That's without shipping, of course, and that was the cheapest, and so I got that. For but I've seen it as much as four hundred and seventy-five dollars just for this unit here. Yeah. And this here will be another box that'll be holding the over. Um, uh, let's see, um, surge protector. And I'm having troubles getting the surge protector. The only place that I found so far is a place in Canada that sells it. In, uh, in the United States, I haven't been able to find anybody that can get the surge protector for the DC side. And. Uh, I'm waiting for Canada to move. Right now they're in a moving process where they're moving from one building to another and this other building that they're putting together is insulated with straw. And uh, so they're kind of into all that stuff and I'm waiting for them to get going again so I can order this this little unit that'll help um, with surge protection. There's also This here is also a shut off valve for the AC side and it also has fuses in it. And I also have a surge protector for it. These here are the lightning protectors. This here is a lightning protector for the DC side. And this is a lightning protector for the AC side. Oh, so there's more to it than I thought. <laughs> hardwired into the AC box here which will be a um, surge protector for the AC side. So because you got to protect this unit this is a very sensitive piece of electronics and and it can only handle so many amps and so many volts and so all that has to be accounted in there. Now you got all of this information from the company that yeah yeah, yeah.
from this company. Yes, SME. And this here, these are little uh, rectifiers. This is connected directly from the wind generators. And the generators are three phase, and so they're hooked up here with three wires. And it changes the three phase into DC. And this would be your negative side, and this would be your positive side. And each one of them has their own rectifiers. And from the rectifiers, it'll go into the surge protector, into the fuse, and shut off. And then into the windy boy, and then it'll come out uh, in, into this box, and it'll go right directly into the house. You're pretty close to getting it working, it looks like. Yeah, I'm working on it. I, hopefully I'll have it all hooked up by, hopefully by next week. I'm kind of excited about I, the whole I thing. I hope you all, all the good luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if I can get that surge protector for the DC side, then I've got it made. Okay, uh, now for... Um, this here is, all it is, is taking waste vegetable oil that I pick up from the, from the um, cafes. And I have only two places that I pick it up from. And uh, I'm, what they're using is a soy. It's a, a liquid soy base, and that's pretty good stuff, especially for burning. It's, it's, a, it's a cleaner type of... of oil it's a thinner oil this is a store right in arco here yeah restaurant. Yeah. and what i do is i put it in the barrel here and let it set and it settles and i can drain off the excess stuff it isn't you don't want to dink with such as water and and particles and stuff yeah there's particles in there i guess i drain it and i take it off about the center and i fill up this bucket here with oil so it's a five gallons. I dump it into this unit here, and and then it goes in here, and I.